This will be in my stash when I need it. Hey, Alva? I'm in Landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy! I'm here. Had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva! What are you doing back in Landfall? And with the Living Ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh... Yes, I stumbled across it, but... There was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... that is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. Having a good day? There you are. Did your excursion count oh. out? Yeah. Not bad with that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex like I used to be. Terrified of a misstep. And with the Overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the Greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. We need to find a way in. Up here. Well, Nerik wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. Uh, Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! We'll have to take it out if we want to find that thing. Uh, okay. I'm with you. I have it! Oh, ah! 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 
tonight we should be able to look around for that data now you. Time for a swim. Mm, at least the water is not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like. Back in the old ones were here. There's less of a climb, I bet. Uh, Come on, <laughs> let's check the upper floors. You okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first to protect them from the wind. But this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> There, the console. Must have been what Merrick found. Let's see if it has anything on Leviathan. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database. But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data is clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? 
My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. To their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quan seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, Entrance now is I blocked. how much of it and is I have to find another true. way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Up we go! <laughs> You doing okay, Olva? Yes. Don't huh? worry about me. How are we going to get across? Well, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. Glint talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall I off the tower. Any damage. Up this way. Okay, just don't look down. Right! 
Of course. There's the tower. Super easy. Should be able to cross over. Aloy. I'm okay. Person with the debris first. Okay. Should be able to make it to the other side. Made it. Okay, Alba, your turn. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure Alba Aloy, makes it across. Can you watch me and person. make sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. Oh, door's locked. Huh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost, re cost reduction strategy? We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is... worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad... Shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omuramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Uh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. There's nothing for my pole cast. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. a long way up. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Whew. 
Well, that's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. <laughs> All right, Alva's on the way. Let's see what's up here. Another locked door. Need Made to figure it! Out the passcode. These artifacts. I. I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. Maybe my focus can show me anything. And maybe they'll help with the door. It's. art, I think. Could it be. Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Appe used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. The uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. Mm, maybe try my focus. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth a try. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. <laughs> Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe the lie was truth, but I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts, no more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe, but not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now.
Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. They didn't stand down when Regala was defeated. I doubt they'll surrender now. What matters is their prisoner Nakala. Maybe she knows where Kavo's squad went. Okay, let's head in then. Easily. Still, if I get rid of their leader, it might send the others packing. Stash later. Strange. Planks of wood, with nothing on top of it. That's all of them. 
Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. I'll rest but here until you return. Soldiers. I should return them to the grove when I get a chance. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they There's go? Rope. Just enough to bind someone. Blood. From the rebels or Nikala? Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nikala. There you go. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Kavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cabo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cabo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Not a chance. He's a traitor. Dekka, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and Blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? Regala's defeated. The rebellion is over. Not for some. Losing Regala only gave them one more reason to hate Hikaro. And Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. 
Unlike the desert and sky clans, we've always stood behind him, without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. The others hope that by weakening the Lowland clan, they'll be able to strike back at Hikaro. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Kavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Kavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Kavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. We walk in strength. Hail champion. Walk in honor. Your enemy is mine. Hup. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. Someone's waiting ahead. But not Cavo. No, okay. You! Friends of Cavo's. showed up? Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Roque. Stuff for the stash. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. 
as you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there. As I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone no rebels no machine what did i over there by the falls blood of the dead if that thing runs through falls edge the village stands no chance then we stop them right here on your lead aloy there. nothing will stand in our way now falls, grab your gear we march on falls edge
lowland from you. This arrow's for you. <sighs> we did it. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on, let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay, I'll let Dekka know what happened. Aloy, I saw your deeds at the Grove. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. Not catch a break from this heat. Be the entrance to the Valley of the Fallen. Marshal Ivira should be around here somewhere. Where's Marshal Ivira? Look, I'm missing to knock. We have to go back. You're not going back in. You need a medic. Uh, but, Dax! You saw what happened as clearly as I did. Marshal Ivira, I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? They, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number as if they're drawn there by something. Not to mention the strange glowing lights off the coast. The valley is cursed. We never should have gone in. Ivira, you were made a marshal at the Cool Root, and you were by Hikaru's side in the final stand against Regala. And you're the one who flew on the wings of the Ten, ended Regala's threat in a single combat. I was just doing what I could to help. In an amazing way, and I saw what you did with my own eyes. Here I thought the Cool Root was the best day of my life, becoming a marshal bearing witness to the vision of unity. But you really outdid yourself against Regala. I have a lot to live up to. You said there are strange lights off the coast. From an island to the south. They appeared one day out of the blue around the same time the machines moved into the valley. There have also been reports of a streak of light that rises and falls in the sky above the island. I saw it on the fourth night. 
a flame that climbed in the sky until it disappeared among the stars. Is there any way to get to the island? No. The currents between the island and the shore are too strong. You'd drown for sure. Oh, it's on an island. I wonder if this has something to do with the Zeniths. Don't know what any of that's about, but maybe? If the valley's been off limits for months, why did you go in? We wanted to run the trial. The valley is a great test for lowland soldiers. Survive for ten days and nights. Take down any machine that stands in the way. Dax had a plan. We'd hunt down each machine one by one until we cleared the valley. Earned the clan's respect. But we got separated from Iveka after the third day. Then machines cut us off from the way out. By the time Marshal Avira found us, we were wounded and out of supplies. More machines attacked us as we made our escape. Dax was right behind us, but he couldn't run fast enough. A lot of machines in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. Then I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess if you insist. Once you're in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic in Falls Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Glowing lights. This must be the Zenith base. Looks like they have a shield around the entire place. Of course, they'd make their base on their own private island. Hold on, Beta. We're coming for you soon. But, back to the current problem. I've got to check out the areas of viewer mentioned. Near the big waterfall and south of that horse on the ridge. be able to find it when you focus. Acid won't much of a dent.
clear. Better take a look at that lure. Okay, let's see if I can turn this thing off. There's data here. Looks like a log. And something called the Julius? Some Zena thing out? Says local vermin exterminated. Is it attracting machines to kill the traitors here? Well, at least this lure's shut down now. I should head to the cliff, south of the Horus. There might be another lure there. Send this to my stash.
stash this away for later. Another lure. Better deal with it. All right. Gotta shut this thing down. Another weird log from the Julius. This one mentions a third lure close by. I better check it out. It looks like I was right. The Zenus left these things here to draw in machines and protect the approach to their base. Better fill up while I can. machines before I can shut it off. First, I have to take out the machines, then I can override the lore. to override the lore now. What's an outlander doing all the way out here? Clearing the valley? You must be one of the missing Tanakhs. Everyone thought you were dead. Nearly. Dax and Kanala, are they... Kanala's alive. Marshal Yvira pulled her out. Speaking of... Aloy! Ivira, couldn't stay away, could you? And miss my chance to hunt the champion in the Valley of the Fallen? Never! And I see you found Eva- Now this looks like a fight. You with me, Marshal? My blade is yours! the ten we get to kill these things what are they
be the last one and looks like there's a recording here hey shithead i got a task for you the julius is ready to serve shut up and do what you're told use the indigenous robots to keep this place clear of local vermin so eric left a simple ai in charge of the wars looks like it shut itself down when i overrode the last one hey well, shithead i shall let it be i got a task here. for you the julius is ready to serve shut up and do what you're told Use the indigenous robots to keep this place clear of local vermin. I'll do it myself, but Gerard says I have to stay focused, so have some fun for the both of us, huh? We don't do, benefactor wizard. You can count on the Julius. I'll be right back. She needs a medic, but she'll live. Thanks to you. Gotta say, every time we meet is the best day ever for fighting. That battle was something else. And those weird machines. Do you think there'll be more? No. I figured out what was causing the machines to gather in the valley. And put a stop to it. Oh. Good news for the clan, then. You don't want to fight more of those things, Ivira. They're not like other machines. The masters they answer to see people as... inconveniences. They'd kill anyone without a second thought. And eventually I'll have to deal with them. The light's offshore. Is that from them? Yeah. It's a kind of shield to protect the island. The machines drawn to this valley were meant to kill anyone who got close. Meaningless slaughter. But definitely something for a champion, not a marshal. Here, take this then. It might help with what lies ahead. Thank you. The valley should be safe enough for a while. But you have to tell the rest of the Tanakh to stay as far away from that island as possible. By the champion's word. I hope our paths cross again, Aloy. made of metal that Tanakh soldier mentioned. Looks like a carbon door, but it's different. There's no way to hack it open. If I can find some other room, I should be able to get data to override some new machines. If the Banuk can survive freezing, so can I. This crevice is massive. As if the earth split open fast. I wonder where this leads.
almost there. Is that a forge? Looks like it's making machine parts. Able to climb them to get to the other side. Gap's too wide. Need to find another way across. Get me up to the vent.
that's what this place is making. A tall neck. The earthquake must have interrupted the process. Just have to expose the core and get those overrides. with this. Store it like Gaia showed me.
Almost there. Let's not do that again. Fence should get me across. Why the cauldron won't release the tall neck at the core. <laughs> it's missing its head. If I can attach a bit, of the I can unblock the. <laughs> Should get me to the hook.
Pekka's room. I think I can hear the head being repaired. It's in place. The guy's fixed. Oh, that metal arm's keeping it in place. Maybe if I override the tall neck, the shockwave will break it free. Fresh air again. You isn't too bad either. Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance.
Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. You know, we've never played machine strike together. Oh, no. <laughs> I got enough trouble with Catalo, always kicking my ass. Who says I'm any good at it? The way my luck goes, I'll bet you're a pro. Did you need something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings, so... Ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found... modest success... perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Okay, so your big plan... Everything you've been manipulating for the last few months? Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zeniths from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question or are you still playing catch up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset, thereby keeping you out of harm's way and, more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades in the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. 
Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. All right, Silence, I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, just call it... a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now and always. Focus. It's Pearls. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one, but Varl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away. I failed Varl at Gemini. I should have pushed harder, I should have done more. With Regala out of the way, Hikaru and Tanakh, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. But if I've learned anything about them, that is not a battle I am going to win. I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Might be a way to deal with my... anger. Yeah, beating the crap out of me makes you feel better. I'm all for it. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. 
I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Erend and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them, but Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Yeah, enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. The rebel holdouts can't be allowed to continue their pointless fight. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am Inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Things will get ugly once the Zeniths realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that... doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. Her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes, only more persistent. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. 
None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the Challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. I can only imagine. I have to go, but I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Aloy, do you have a moment? You... you flew? Kotalo told me! And took out Regala's machines? <laughs> you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors... and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and I wanted to give you this. For helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? Guess the more the merrier. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. I hope our new guests have been behaving. Miss Silence, he's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish more Quen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. 
Anything new around here? Kotalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes, their own. Replacing body parts as they grow older, like the Zenith. Exactly. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Oh, I guess this door is up to his things. Hey boy, if you were listening to this, then, um, things didn't go as planned at Gemini. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But, uh, what's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber? Thank you, Aloy. You've been... My shelter. And I would risk it all again. To be by your side. I know you'll find a way forward. That's what you do. Just you wait, Farrell. We're taking those space lights down. There you are. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said, at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my thirties, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me. Restoring Elizabeth's dream. It's what? A... a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, 
some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. You said before that you're not like the others, Enos. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab, after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years, Luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. So, Eric... Was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandon human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. 
Alva's tribe believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him. Though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzenith. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough, and the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. I think he was a Zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths. Urbana. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What, like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. Okay, I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? All right, people. 
I need you up in the control room, right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How, exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but... Why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Sohans is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. Oh, earlier you mentioned something about Tanakh rebels and the Asaram, but we never really talked about it. I'm just saying, if you want to discuss it, you, know, you, you let me know. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Save my butt with those spectres. 
Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to... to Gemini. I was... Uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink. Just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. And how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. You know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was going to appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. And she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I get perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. <sighs> you were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So. 
He asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or... losing Fadera? The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Who's this Federa you mentioned? She... is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the Academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there's a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katalo will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Welcome back, Aloy. Would you like to continue our chat? I should be going. I'll be making final preparations.
Aloy. Something else? I'll be going. As you wish. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Cotolo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. There. Rendezvous point. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, 
and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy, we're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Beware, Aloy. Spectres ahead. Company. Follow my lead. That's what I do. I should hit it with plasma. I do. There's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. What's in this backpack, Metal Bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy. Don't worry. I'll protect you. There's a lot of 
dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another Spectre. Sneak or fight, you choose. in a way. Well, I'll just leave it here then. It's not fear, but it'll do. We can take this one, Aloy! Keep moving! That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds! But I guess, uh, yeah, dead one's handy enough. You remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the whole world? Oh, yeah. Good times. Ugh. More spectres. I'll attack when you... Cut into the desert. Sean. I'll take this one. Any good look? A little. 
Here, up this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Go as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. You want to target me, do you? How many spectres do the Zeniths have? More than we want to fight at once, that's for sure. This thing? I guess we're not going for stealth, mate. And now it's a good time to hit him in the plasma. Oh. Hit the weak spot! Hey, you want me to hit you again? Looks like the others have things under control. Come on, up the slab. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish this. <laughs> Holfa and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Mia, come on, come on, come on. What is that? Our army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flee back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. The Apollo database. In case we don't make it, I just have one regret. What is it? That we had to do all this climbing. That a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. Plasma will do a lot of damage here.
Now you can hurt it. Now oh, you want to fight the Vanguard? I think they can handle it. Boy, did you pick the wrong spot. Come on, let's cross over. Use acid to corrode it. This way. Big jump. To the right, I think. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Another Aloy. One? This zenith space stuff. <laughs> this place is gonna come down around our ears. Hold the moon. Guy who doesn't have to carry. to the tower.
Well, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Silence! Zenith, inbound! Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless! You can't hurt us. Face it. Your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence! One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Elevator. Promising. We got some unfinished business, little girl. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. <laughs> Find my way in there. 
sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. It doesn't make any sense. I know. But there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alba? Alba! What's going on here? M maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. 
Over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us. Including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us what no i loved elizabeth more than you could ever know and i let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity a mistake i have regretted for a thousand years now she stands before me again not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime. To me.
she tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. 
It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. obstacle. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. Thank <laughs> you.